So this is my ex-girlfriend's gaming setup. Yep, you heard that right. To give you a little more information without telling you everything, we broke up, but we still live together. Now that might sound like a crappy situation to you, but honestly, it's not. I mean, of course it has its days, but anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to actually upgrade her gaming setup, but I don't have her permission, so let's hope she doesn't get mad. I don't know who would get mad though at a free setup upgrade. I know I wouldn't. However, she does know one thing that's going on and that she's getting a new chair. But what she doesn't know is her setup will look completely different. Now I'm realizing I might get hate for this video, but oh well. Before we get started, I wanna do a quick overview of her setup so you know what she's working with. For her gaming PC, it's rocking Ryzen 5 3600, 16 gigabytes of RAM, in a GTX 1660 Super. It's nothing too crazy, but hey, it handles games at 1080p, around 144 FPS. Her monitor is a pretty cheap 1080p, 144 hertz monitor. Fun fact, this was actually my first ever gaming monitor that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for $75. Her mic is from Fifine, it's some dynamic microphone. It's an all right mic. What could be improved is the boom arm. It's a little bit cheap, it's kind of just, I don't know, it's definitely just cheap. And then for her peripherals, she's rocking a Corsair wireless headset. She's rocking this Rocat wireless mouse and then a custom keyboard, 60%. Now for things that I'm going to be upgrading, as I said, she's getting a new chair and we're also gonna be upgrading the monitor and getting a new mic and a boom arm. Oh, and also the setup will be in a completely different place. I've been wanting to rearrange our room. Yeah, we're in the same room, <laughs> but I've been wanting to rearrange it for a while now. And this is finally a good excuse to do it. I want to move the bed over there, dresser over there and set up over there. The bed is in its place. Now we got the dresser in its place. And now the setup is in its place. And now that it's here, let's start with the first upgrade. And like I said, it's this chair. Little fun fact, we bought this chair at a thrift store for $5. I'm gonna be listing it on Facebook for 20 bucks, trying to make a little bit of money back. Here is the new chair. Plus this is the sponsor for today's video. This is the FlexiSpot C7. It's an ergonomic office chair designed to provide maximum comfort for those long sitting sessions. Whether you work from home or you're just a gamer, this chair is awesome. If you're interested, they have a $30 discount for you if you use the code C730 when you check out on their website. The chair comes packaged very nicely in one box and everything is very safe with all the bubble wrap. Once you get it all unboxed, the assembly process is pretty simple. First, you install the wheels into the base. They just push into place. They do require a bit of force, but don't worry, you won't break anything. I mean, unless you're like freaking Hulk or something. Then you take the black shaft and insert it into the center hole. And then the next step is to install the armrest, but I skipped those because they would have gotten taken off anyways. But the armrests are pretty nice. They have a lot of adjustability and they feel really comfortable to the touch. After that, you just install the backrest, put it on top of the shaft, and bam, you have a nice chair. And it also has an adjustable headrest, which is secured with one screw. And speaking of adjustability, this chair offers a ton of it. Like I said, you have the headrest, it's height adjustable, and it has a little tilting feature to adjust to any head. Then moving down the chair, you have their dynamic lumbar support cushion. You can either have it unlocked, which allows it to adjust to your back as your posture changes, or you can choose to lock it for a more comfortable angle. Then of course, the chair has an adjustable seat height, and you can adjust the seat depth to either sit more back towards the chair, or a little more forwards. And it also has a tilting feature, which helps maintain the natural curvature of your spine. And last but not least, this chair is super easy to recline in with a wide range of motion. And to top it off, it has a big 20 inch seat to provide comfort to anyone. Whether you got small buttocks or massive buttocks, this chair will fit you. To add even more value to this chair, it comes with a 10 year warranty. So you know your money is safe with this purchase and you will definitely extract maximum value from it. Thank you FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video and be sure to check them out down below and use the code C730 to save $30 when you purchase this chair. Okay, now to finish the rest of the upgrades, I'm gonna go ahead and clear off the desk so we have a fresh canvas to work with. So here is the next upgrade. It's a Scepter 24 inch 1080p 165 hertz monitor. It's the same size as our old one, but it's an IPS panel, so it's gonna look way better. And it's an edgeless design. The other one has these like big fat bezels. So this will be a nice upgrade. And you know I had to double it. That one cost me around $120 brand new on Amazon. 
And this one right here is one of my old ones that I had just lying around. Alrighty, got the monitors all set up, got the computer back on the desk, and now one of the final upgrades is a new microphone. The monitors do look pretty clean, but this vertical one is kind of sketchy because it's actually not mounted all the way. I didn't have the correct back plate for this monitor arm, but the monitor is resting on the desk, so it is pretty secure. Anyways, here is the new mic. As I said, her old one was a Fifine one, and this is a new Fifine. It's an AM8 and it's a nice dynamic microphone. And alongside that, we also got a new boom arm as well. Well, I got the mic and boom arm set up. The boom arm is pretty cool. It's like the Elgato low profile boom arm, except at a way cheaper price point. Like I said, the mic is a dynamic mic, has adjustable gain on it right here with a little knob and adjustable feedback volume because uh, it does have a headphone jack so you can hear yourself while talking. I guess monitoring volume. And it's also USB type C and it has XLR capabilities. Anyways, the last thing to do is to finish up the setup, tidy up the cable management and then Reveal it to my ex and hope she's not mad at me. Well, here is the setup in all its glory. Just ignore those two cables right there. I low-key need to get longer monitor cables. In my opinion, I think this thing turned out super clean. And tell me why it looks better than my gaming setup. I really love the shelves and like the ambient lighting right there looks really nice i didn't put all her little trinkets back i'll let her do that but i did kind of put some stuff on the shelves these are all her books that's her little winnie the pooh a little cool octane picture and then of course you have to have the grumpy octopus to be honest she's been home all day i just kind of told her to stay in the living room but now that the setup's done she can come in here and i don't know i guess we'll see what happens well it's safe to say she likes the setup she's already playing apex on it the first thing she did notice was that ips monitor like i said the old one i think it was like a tn panel so the colors it just looks way better now does the new chair feel better on your butt yeah it does. <laughs> she died <laughs> well i would count this setup upgrade as a success I'm pretty hungry, so I'm finally gonna eat this banana. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash a like and subscribe for more content like this. Once again, big thank you to FlexiSpot for sending out that awesome new chair. Be sure to check out all the links down below in the description. Mmm, this banana is so good. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.